Okay, here we are. We're continually going in and refining. So I'm looking at this dark cast shadow here in the sweater. I talked about the modeling I was doing around her chest area. I can see I've got some smudges. You could always keep pulling away, getting rid of your smudges. Decide what you want to keep in, what you want to take away. Okay, so this is a really nice shape here from her chest, bringing her shoulder, the shadow moving this arm into the leg. I'm gonna leave this as a nice lost, uh, lost edge. Some of these lost edges are gonna be really nice to help to define the, the form. So I'm going to just do a subtle line to indicate the top of her shoulder, but we almost want the top of that shoulder to be lost as well. So I can just move out, push out with my tortillon. Kind of soften the, the edge off of the shoulder while still maintaining that the light is going to hit the tip of this shoulder right here. And then I threw a shadow in there. Soften this edge here. And then her sweater comes out and in. So this is where we would then go in with this. You can go in with your vine charcoal or your charcoal pencil to indicate how this sweater has a tendency to catch the light and then wrap into the shadow area as we head into the top of the knee. This is all in shadow so it's up to you if you want to go in with your charcoal pencils and create some nice bold linear shapes or if you want to stick with your fine charcoal. Keeping it in mind we're continually softening, deciding what edges do we soften, what do we keep be hard edges. Softening the edge will help for the form shadow right here near the edge of the chair. You can run your kneaded eraser through it to break up that shape, but it still maintains some dark tones in there. The light hitting her On the edge of her sweater. The light comes in, hits the top of the knee, goes down, a little bit of light on her sweater there. Make sure I have this nice light cutting across the brow. Nice light on the tip of the nose. Could use some refinement around the upper lip area. So we've got the top lip, bottom lip. Keep in mind the center of the mouth is where we have the most shadow. So I'll come in there just do an indication of the inside of the mouth, bottom of the mouth. You can use your kneaded eraser to remove the highlight in at the top of the lip. Make 
here. She also has a nice light on the side of her cheek. The light hits the bottom lip, so I'm going to bring that in. Hits the top of the chin, comes down softly and in. So once again, modeling this chin area and bottom lip can be a little tricky. We're gonna move between your different tools. Then I like to go in and soften and connect my shadows. Soften, connect shadows. I'm gonna fix this bottom lip, it looks like. We do want to have a shadow in the corner of the mouth here, but we want to maintain the highlight on the top of the lip. So there's just a little bit of work here. Once again, placement of that corner of the mouth is important. That you could do, you're just pushing the charcoal around. Don't want it to. Kind of pushing that charcoal around to define. We've got light coming over the top of her chin. So go in there and lift up some light. Her forehead, she has a high hairline. Just going into a little indication, the edge of her brow line here. This is going to help to define the shape of her head. Her brow comes out and then in. There again. This will be movement with the kneaded eraser because she does have a nice high cheekbone, so we've got to be very careful about those marks. This is where the kneaded eraser comes in handy. And see how such a subtle mark can differentiate between between what the face of the the shape of the face is looking like. Just pulling out just a little bit of shadow in this shadow area to give a little bit more volume to the, le the left side of her face. And allow that hair to come down darkly and cut across. Okay. Clean up any extra smudges go back in. Okay, one area that we haven't focused on, there's a really nice shape indicating the shadow area underneath her sleeve, coming down along the chair, and of course indicating her hip area. So then we're going to go in there and really start to model this cast shadow that allows to reinforce the direction of her upper thigh. And then this catches the edge. Here again, we're dealing with really nice form shadows, cast shadows, just really refining this block in, this block in area. And there's a shadow cast. 